Today in the news, Huawei and Qualcomm go in an arms race, Intel tips a balance, and Sony hates Xbox. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. <laughs> Looks like the smartphone giant Huawei is going to go arm for arm against Qualcomm. The company promises that its 7 nanometer Kirin 980 processor will beat the Snapdragon 845 by a large amount. Not only is it the first 7 nanometer mobile processor, but they're also the first one built around ARM's Cortex A76 CPU architecture and Mali G76 GPU. Why is this pretty cool? Well, Qualcomm has also been developing a Cortex A76 based CPU for a while now, but we haven't heard many news. The Cortex A76 design is said to be about as powerful as a Pentium Gold processor from Intel, the same one that we can find in a Surface Go tablet. Now keep in mind that ARM created the design, and Huawei can modify it as they please, so performance can vary a lot depending on their goal. While the blueprint for the Cortex A76 is pretty high performance, they could have tuned it down so that it's more power efficient without actually making it all that powerful. But with all the comparisons Huawei made to the Snapdragon 845, it sure is going to be a beast. 22% lower latency, 22% more frame rate in gaming, and 32% less power consumption are all things to note here. The takeaway for me is that if the big Intel versus Qualcomm and Microsoft fight ends in the latter winning, well, it won't take long for Huawei to swoop in and use ARM in some laptops too. Moving on to some Intel news. Chris Hook, head of discrete graphics marketing at Intel, has confirmed that their GPUs will feature adaptive sync. Now this, this is awesome for a few reasons. First of all, one of the things that I absolutely hate about the GPU game right now is the whole free sync versus G-Sync war. It is absolutely unnecessary, and I find it pretty petty from Nvidia to not let their GPU use free sync when we know that the tech is in there. The main reason why we can't use it is is probably because Nvidia worked hard on G-Sync and just don't want to see it as money wasted. It might be a slightly different technology compared to FreeSync, but it is not different enough to warrant the Nvidia tax on monitors that only support G-Sync. Anyways, with Intel and AMD both using Adaptive Sync, that means that Nvidia might be at a disadvantage. Not only will the amount of Adaptive Sync capable displays soar in popularity, but the cost of these monitors will probably be cheaper. So it's going to be Team Blue and Red versus Green on that subject, and I suspect a lot of people will want to try out the new Intel GPUs and how they will use Adaptive Sync. Add to that the fact that AMD is always trying to become the budget king, and Adaptive Sync might eclipse the competition, aka G-Sync. Maybe at that point Nvidia will release a software update making all G-Sync capable displays miraculously compatible with Adaptive Sync. But if they do that, there's going to be a big backlash. One thing that is pretty interesting though is that Adaptive Sync is probably not going to make its first appearance on the 2020 Intel GPU. It seems like they might integrate it into their 10th or 11th gen CPU integrated graphics. Maybe by then people will have found a way to make Nvidia GPUs compatible with Adaptive Sync with an Intel processor using the same method they did to enable FreeSync on an Nvidia card using an AMD APU. Now that's a lot of hurdles to jump through. I mean, come on, just give us FreeSync Nvidia. That's what we want. Moving on, let's get into some gaming news. We have Sony, which seem to have been flip-flopping between the idea of crossplay and no crossplay. Well, this time it's not directly from a PlayStation executive, but from Sony's damn CEO, Kenichiro Yoshida. He has made the company's position clear about the subject. On cross-platform, our way of thinking is always that PlayStation is the best place to play. Fortnite, I believe, partnered with PlayStation 4 is the best experience for users. That's our belief. But actually, we already opened some games as cross-platform with PC and some others. So we decide based on what is the best user experience. That is our way of thinking for cross-platform. So basically, full cross-platform support with Xbox, PS4, Switch, and PC will probably never happen. Unless Sony gets a Wii U moment and has to rethink things. 
Then we have Fortnite's newest addition to your arsenal, and that's a grappling hook or plunger. The device will allow you to, well, do I really need to explain what a grappling hook does? Here you can see the first look at the new grappler item in game, and it looks like it's going to be sweet. So many games have added this functionality in the last few years though. Maybe it's time to let it go. Just grapple, swing, and let go. All right, let's talk about Sunday's live stream. You guys were amazing, I loved it, and I would love to do it again. Just to let you guys know though, next time I'll have some of your comments to discuss, I promise. The next stream will probably happen next week, so stay tuned. And that's pretty much it for the news, guys. Don't forget to leave a like down below and a comment about how much I'm sweating because I'm boiling in here. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Don't forget to click right here to see the latest video and right here to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the live stream happened, all right? So stay frosty. I'll, I'll do my best to stay frosty because right now I'm boiling and I'll see you on the next one.